Good everyone, this is Damres Photography and today I'm going to be talking on color grading. Yes, I'm going to be talking on color grading. Please, if you don't, if you've not liked, if you've not subscribed to this to this tutorial, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please just click on the subscribe button, click on the follow button. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe. You get so just click on the subscribe button for me right now. I really appreciate that. So on to the tutorial. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing um color grading, and I'm going to be teaching you how to color grade with camera rolls. Camera roll. Color, camera roll is not the only um, um what they call it. it's not the only tool you could use to color grade on um what they call it, on Photoshop. You could use uh you could use your selective colors. You could use your hues and saturation. Yeah, you could use your selective colors. You could use your hues and saturation. You could even use the vibrancy to bring out vibrance and ma uh, mess with the saturation. But for me, I like using uh, what they call them um, camera roll to color grade because it allows me to work on the old image. I can pop out the image. I can do a lot of things using camera roll. So first things first, I've already edited. I've done the background cleanup. I've done the screen retouching for this image. I've also done a little bit of dodge burn. So as you can see, we have it took the image from here to here. So before, after, before after yes so we have our image and next thing we're going to be doing the, um what they call the color grading i'm going to do the color grading i want to do it on a stamp layer what is a stamp layer a stamp layer is a merge of all your previous um layers you merge them together while also keeping um while also keeping those layers without deleting them so if i create a stamp layer i will still have this i will still have my layers um still on photoshop i won't it won't they won't be deleted but the new layer will be a merge of everything i've previously done everything i've done on that so and to create your stamp layer you you click on ctrl alt shift e by clicking on ctrl alt shift e you create a stamp layer if you see now if i click on order or if i hold alt and click on this on this layer you see that i've off the layers underneath it but there, there was no difference with my image. You get there was no difference with my image because this layer is a mad of everything I did previously. So let me on everything. You see, there's still no difference. So right now we'll go to filter and then we'll go to camera raw. Like I said, we're going to be using camera raw to color grade our image. So we'll go to camera raw. And then first things first, I work on I work on the calibrations first. On my image, I work on the calibrations first. This gives the image a bit of pop, you get. And then, so I'll just work on the blues first. Saturation, I increase the saturation. Um, for the blues, I I move them, I toggle them between and see what I like. Color grading is about the feel. How do you want your image to feel, you get. So, I, I'm going to move it here. I'll do that for the rest. Okay. For the reds, I will advise you not to manipulate it a lot because the reds affect the skin. Okay, so right now we have before, after, before, after. You've seen we've done. You've seen what just the calibrations have done. So next thing we'll go to color grading. This is color grading panel, and then first of all I'll work on the shadows. I will first bring it down just a bit. I'll bring when you the more you move it in, the more you move the circle in you are manipulating the saturation and when you talk when you move the circle around you are, you are manipulating the the colors you get like the kind of colors you want you want you get so right now i just moved it in and then i'm going to just move it around i want to just get a feel of where i want my colors to be you get just get a feel just like move it around and see what speaks to you you get so I think I'm liking, I'm liking this vibe for this image. Yes, I'm liking this vibe for this image. So I'm going to leave my shadows at that. I'll work on the highlights too. One thing I advise is usually okay if you put the highlights at the opposite of your shadows. You get. Then again, it doesn't work all the time, but most times it really, really works. You get. Most times it really, really works. But if what you're seeing when you put it at the opposite is not what you want. Could always just walk play with it a bit you get okay i think i'll leave it around here then i'll go for my mid tones mid tones brings everything into perspective you get 
Bitcoins bring everything into perspective. Okay. So I'm going to leave my midtones around here. I'm going to bring this one to the middle. I want to see something. I'm just going to bring opposite my uh, shadows. And then let me mess with my midtones a bit. Okay. 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 Let's leave the midtones around here. Let me increase the saturation for the shadows and see what we get. Okay. I don't like that. So let me do that for the highlights too. Mm, I don't like that too. Let's do that for this. So the thing I'm doing is I'm just trying to play with the image and then sometimes when you give it a bit of saturation, you might get a different look entirely, you get? So let me just play with that a bit and see what I can get. Okay, I think I'll leave it at this. Okay, that's all for color grading. Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. Okay, I think I'm going to change that a bit. Okay, so just play with your colors. You get, just play with your colors and see what you like about it. Okay, next thing, we're going to go to curves. And then I'm going to just play with these two. As you can see, I'm working on the RGB layer. Right now, we have the reds, we have the greens, we have the blues, and then we also have the RGB. For me, I'll just work on the RGB layer and then give it three points. Just those three dots, those three dots there. I have those three dots there first. Next thing, I'm going to play with this one a bit. You can play with it on your own, but for me, this is what I mostly do. After giving it three dots, I play with this a bit. And then I just try to see how the look you get sometimes just i just need to work on just that one sometimes you need to do more yet you get so i'm just trying to play with this you get okay now this is beautiful before after before after before after so if you look at before everything before after before after one thing that makes the old picture go is this color gradient i could give it a different feel watch this if i take this if I take my um if I take this image around here now, yes, if I take it around here. You see now by doing this, I've given my image a different feel entirely. I could just play with this. I even like these colors. So I could play with this, just watch. You get by doing this, I've given my image a whole lot of different uh, a whole different feel, you get. So we have before, after, before, after. Last but not the least, I like to sharpen my image a bit, so I'll just give it a sharpening of 20. Yeah, that's good. So, if you have more images, like let's say you shot this model, you shot uh, your client, and then she uses one outfit, this particular outfit, she shot a lot of pictures on this outfit. I would advise you that after you edit the first one, you go to load, I mean, you click on these three dots and go to save. And then click and save this particular color grade you've done for me i'll just click on save i'll go to where i want to save it and then i'll just save it I'll, i can name it color you get let me color and then save yeah the reason why you can do why you do that is so that when next you are edit when you want to edit the next picture with this same outfit for this same model you just have to click on this place click on load and then find where you save that and then you just have to click on it and open it this makes your editing workflow flow faster so that you know that you just do the color grading for the first outfit and then the remaining um, what they call images with that same outfit you just have to you just have to um uh, what they call you just have to load it load it you get you don't need to do the color grading all over again so right now we have done the color grading for this image so we have before after before after before after so last but not the least one thing i like to do is i like to separate my image from the background i used um so i'll just click make a selection of the subject and then i'll use it to create a levels a levels adjustment so for that levels adjustment i just brighten up i just work on the mid tones the shadows and then this other part so you get so we have before after so what i'm doing is sort of brighten the image 
but also give it a sort of um, what they call it, a sort of detail you get so i've done that last but not the least you just click on your brightness and contrast and then yeah you just work on the image just play with it and see what you want do you want it to be bright do you want it to be less bright i think this is okay for brightness so for contrast you could go like this you could go like this depending on what you want you get for me i think it's okay around here yeah i think this is okay i like this so as you can see we have before after before after before after so that's all about color grading if you like this tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and i'll see you in the next tutorial guys have a wonderful day